Hi, my name is Kaleem Kier. I'm the founder and CEO of One City Schools here in Madison, Wisconsin, and I have a question for you. I'm wondering why I keep having conversations with people, and I don't know why, but it just, it, it, it's, I struggle with this. Why do we keep telling our children in this community and in the communities in which we live that somehow there's a better life for them somewhere else? Just in the last several years, I've heard parents say here in Madison, oh, we got to get out of here. When I was a little boy, I was told, you got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. We got to go somewhere else to find that perfect life for black people. People say, oh, I got to move south. I got to move north. I got to move west. I got to move east. We're always trying to move someplace to find that perfect place rather than build that perfect place right where we are. I think about the ancestors, our ancestors, and how coming out of slavery, they valued a few things. One of them was land. They valued only land. They understood how the, pro how the planter's wealth came out of only land. They also understood commerce, like owning their own businesses. Back then it was just basically making money with your own skills, your own labor. And they understood the value of education. All of those things that they value that we in our communities don't invest enough time, resources, or energy in. So I think about it when people say, you know what, black children should leave Madison. They should leave Washington, D.C. when I lived there. Parents would tell their children because of how tough it was, you got to get out of here. When I was living in San Diego and spending my time in South San Diego, and parents would say to their children, you got to get out of here. And kids would talk about, I just can't wait till I get out of San Diego. Or when I was um, on the East Coast living in for a brief period of time up in Connecticut, I hear the same thing. Everywhere I go, I hear it. And most recently, just last week, I was in Chicago to get a visa. I'm traveling to China. And I had a chance to spend time at a school and listen to some of the families there. And actually, when I left, I talked to some of the families, and I understood it. There's a lot of challenges going on in the neighborhood. You want your children to be safe. You want them to get out of there. If we really want to strengthen the neighborhoods that are broken, we got to do a few things. Number one, we got to commit to preparing children in those communities to have the skill, have the knowledge, and have the heart, have the heart to rebuild the communities in which they live. Number two, we got to be willing to fight to bring resources to those neighborhoods, not fight to get them to flee them. Number three, those of us that have the ability, the ability, the resources, the skill to help, we need to go into those neighborhoods that need us the most rather than moving necessarily away from them. We might move away from our physical location where we live, but we should make part of our work the neighborhoods that we came from or the neighborhoods that need our help and go there and help those young people and help those communities rebuild from within. We got to start educating our children that they have the ability that they have the, 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 the resources among them if they work together to rebuild the communities in which they live.